London, AP, the coffin of Queen Elizabeth II left the monarch's cherished Scotland and landed Tuesday night in London, wherein crowds have amassed alongside the path it'll take to Buckingham Palace. Her son, King Charles III, lower back to London from Northern Ireland, wherein his go to drew an unprecedented second of team spirit from politicians in a place with a contested British and Irish identification this is deeply divided over the monarchy. The Army C-17 Globemaster sporting the monarch's casket touched down at RAF Northolt, an air pressure base west of the city, approximately an hour after it left Edinburgh. UK Prime Minister Liz Truss, Defence Secretary Ben Wallace and of Army Honour Protect have been amongst the ones greeting the coffin on the base. The Queen's frame is creating a very last adventure from Balmoral Castle in northern Scotland, wherein the monarch died September 8 at age 96 after 70 years at the throne. It will journey beyond lots of folks that amassed with inside the rain alongside the street to pay their ultimate respects. Charles and different contributors of On the Spot, own circle of relatives will meet the coffin at Buckingham Palace, wherein it'll spend a very last night time on the Queen's London domestic. It can be taken with the aid of using horse-drawn gun carriage Wednesday to the Houses of Parliament to lie in nation for four days earlier than Monday's funeral at Westminster Abbey. Earlier, the flag-draped oak coffin turned into carried from St. Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh to the stress of bagpipes. Crowds lining the Royal Mile through the anciental coronary heart of Edinburgh broke into applause because the coffin, observed with the aid of using the Queen's daughter, Princess Anne, turned into push to Edinburgh Airport. The Scottish authorities stated 33,000 human beings filed silently beyond the coffin with inside the 24 hours after it turned into delivered to Edinburgh from Balmoral. In Northern Ireland, loads of human beings coated the road main to Hillsborough Castle close to Belfast, the royal own circle of relatives' legend house in Northern Ireland, with inside the contemporary outpouring of love following the Queen's death. The vicinity in the front of the gates to the fort turned into carpeted with loads of floral tributes. Charles and his spouse Camilla, the Queen consort, were given out in their automobile to wave to the group and now and again used each palms to attain out to villagers, inclusive of schoolchildren in brilliant blue uniforms. Charles even petted a corgi, famously his overdue mom's favorite breed of dog, held up with the aid of using one person, and a few chanted God shop the king. Today method a lot to me and my own circle of relatives, simply to be found in my domestic village with my youngsters to witness the appearance of the brand new king is a without a doubt ancient till second for us all, stated Hillsborough resident Robin Campbell as he waited for Charles, who's on an excursion of the four elements of the United Kingdom. While there has been a heat welcome in Hillsborough, the British monarchy attracts blended feelings in Northern Ireland, wherein there are important communities, typically Protestant Unionists who keep in mind themselves British, and in large part Roman Catholic nationalists who see themselves as Irish. That cut up fueled three a long time of violence acknowledged as the troubles regarding paramilitary businesses on each aspects and UK protection forces, wherein three 600 human beings died. The royal own circle of relatives turned into touched for my part with the aid of using the violence, Lord Lewis Mountbatten, a cousin of the Queen and a much-cherished mentor to Charles, turned into killed with the aid of using an Irish Republican Army bomb in 1979. A deep sectarian divide remains, one four century after Northern Ireland's 1998 peace agreement. For a few Irish nationalists, the British monarch represents an oppressive overseas power but others well known the Queen's position in forging peace. On a go-to to Northern Ireland in 2012, she shook palms with Sinn Féin Deputy Chief Martin McGuinness, a former IRA commander, a once unthinkable second of reconciliation. Alex Maskey, a Sinn Féin flesh presser who's Speaker of the Northern Ireland Assembly, stated the Queen had confirmed how character acts of advantageous management can assist smash down obstacles and inspire reconciliation. In a signal of ways a long way Northern Ireland has come on the street to peace, representatives of Sinn Féin attended commemorative occasions for the Queen and Assembly the King on